Premature Evaluations, this is Fast and Furious 6, the game. This is a free to play, pay to win game. Um, I'm playing it on an iPad right now. Um, I believe it is available for all mobile platforms at this point. So you're looking at my car, this uh, Honda Civic that I bought at the beginning of the game. And right now I can tell you why this game is a huge thumbs down. So since this game is free, you can see up in the top right hand corner there are two types of currency in this game. There are the F, which are like these golden tickets, and then you have your credits. And these are what you use to upgrade your car. So if I go into the upgrade menu, uh, as you can see, you can spend both of those. And right now, the only upgrade I'll be able to afford are this one here in the gearbox, the flywheel. And these are all really small incremental upgrades. So to get as far as I am in the game right now, I've had to, as soon as I could afford an upgrade, to buy one. There was no skipping them, so like, I would like to buy the next level of nitrous, but there's no way that I'm going to be able to get this 9,000 coins without doing some serious grinding. And right underneath um, where it says 2012 Honda Civic at the top, you can see my fuel level. Well, you can only race so much as fuel you have. So I'm going to take you to the main menu here. Uh, you know, you can watch a trailer if you want. You could buy your movie tickets, blah, blah, blah. You can buy, listen by the soundtrack. But you have your couple things here. You have your drift challenge, drag challenge, your story, and all this other good stuff. The daily race um, changes from time to time. And as you can see, we've got different uh, difficulties here for every single race that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the daily race and show you exactly what this game is about and why I dislike it, other than it's super, super duper pay to win. So let's go ahead and race. And from a racing game, you would expect some sort of racing, but this is pretty much 100% touch controls to the point where it's just press the button when you're supposed to press the button. And there are some races in here. I'll probably win this one because my car is running better. So you have to launch at the perfect time to get a perfect launch. And then you have to shift. And press the nitrous when you can. And there, that's it. That's a race. I managed to win because this isn't my car. My car is a real piece of crap and can barely win the races that I win. I swear I've won races by, you know, within the hundredths of seconds. So that was pretty easy. I'll get some bonus coins for winning. There we go, I've got 4,000. So with that 4,000, I'll actually be able to buy one of these upgrades here, which I have to. Let's go ahead and buy this. Now look at this. Um, if you've ever played Real Racing 3, it does the same thing. In order for me to get this, I can either waste these seven Fs, which, mind you, cost money. Look, I got one for leveling up. Let's see. And this is the price. These are the prices of them. 1,600 of those for $99.99. That's ridiculous. Come on, guys. So I have to wait for that upgrade. Now suppose my daily races were done and I wanted to go and try the drag ladder. Well, let's see how it goes. Again, this is all just touch at the right time. And some of these races, if you don't touch at the right time, you will lose. So this car, this Gran Torino is a 281, I'm a 286. So I stand a good chance to win, but we'll see. You have to be perfect in order to win and I've done everything perfect so far and I'm still losing and look I lost the race so I'm gonna get a small amount of credits here and I'll just have to grind this out grind 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 or just play another game until my upgrade comes through and this is precisely why this game gets a huge thumbs down it's <clears throat> it doesn't there's no satisfaction here. I got three XP and 150 coins for losing that race Okay, 
I just, I, I want to stop. It's not giving, there's no carrot for me to obtain here. It's just play and play and play and play and play and eventually you'll win. Um, it's just terrible. If you like the Fast and Furious or you want to play a free car racing game, go for it. But there's really nothing worth staying for here. So give it a quick roll if you want or just skip it outright. I would just skip it.